In this video, we're going to talk about a make to stock or MTS manufacturing strategy. Um, make to stock, it's a manufacturing strategy where products are manufactured to be stocked at the finished goods level or end item level, depending which term you use. And if you want to justify this strategy, typically there's a high volume of demand on a repeated basis, as well as having a low variety of products for this this item so that some type of repetitive manufacturing line or cell can be set up to manufacture the the end item that you're looking for an example of a product that'd be manufactured under a make to stock strategy with high volume and low variety perhaps could be something like silverware fasteners bottles paper towel books these are all things that are expected to be off the shelf on a on a quick basis here so from an important standpoint, you know, why is this important? Uh, think of a, you know, it's, it's important because it's a strategy that allows products to be stocked at a finished goods level because there's a very short lead time requirement. And typically the customer wants to come in and pick it up, walk out the door, or if it's an industrial environment, we just expect the manufacturer to have it in stock, pick it, pack it, marshal it, ship it to us, and so we just have the, the delivery aspect only here. So from an example standpoint, think of a customer who needs to buy fasteners to do a home uh, home repair on an emergency basis, or a manufacturer who needs the same off-the-shelf uh, fastener solution to build a low-cost product. In both cases, there's an immediacy of need by the buyer. And from an impact standpoint, the impact of a make to order or excuse me a make to stock strategy is the products available on a very short notice and it's typically in stock an additional impact though is the product usually has a commodity feel to it because there's many manufacturers that are competing and probably making the same product thus there's lots of competition for the product the selling price then is typically lower than desired as the product has to compete for sales with many manufacturers and so also there's very little loyalty to the brand or to the manufacturer, and the relationships tend to be very transactional and arm's length. So again, think of the fasteners again. There's little loyalty to your product. You better have it in stock or the customer is going to go elsewhere quickly. They're going to have very little loyalty. In fact, if you don't have the product in stock, it's entirely possible the customer never comes back to buy your product again because the fail having it in stock the first time may make the customer think you can't do business or you're inept and will permanently write you off as a serious supplier.